Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Floor United Methodist Church. This is Sunday morning, October the 24th. I'm so happy to see you. The 24th of October. Oh, my goodness. Halloween is next week. And, uh, and Christmas, oh, let me see. We're almost, uh, this Christmas is two months away, right? Christmas Eve, the 24th. Listen, be in church on the 24th. Oh, my goodness. The night of Christmas Eve. We have the best service of the year for Christmas Eve. So excited about that. Just two months away. Friends, I'm so glad that you're tuning in with us today, joining us in worship. We're going to have a great time. We're going to have music. So call your friends, call your neighbors, hit the, hit the like button on Facebook, hit the share button. If you're on YouTube or YouTube television, do, I don't, I'm not sure how you share that, but, but share it. And we're going to have just great music. And at the end of the service, I'm going to come back and I'm going to pray for you. So this morning, it's, it's all worship this morning. I will be right back to pray for you. But you hang in there. Hey, praise band, y'all got those instruments tuned? Let's get ready. Flora Methodist Music coming to you.
strong when I am weak. I will be free. Your power is working me. I'm broken gracefully. I'm strong when I am weak. I will be free. Your power is working me. I'm broken gracefully. I'm strong when I am weak. I will be free. Here I am, God. Arms wide. Pouring out my life, gracefully broken.
the key. Never gonna let me down. You're 
Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, 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 oh. sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid his precious body in the tomb? Whoa! Sometimes it causes me to tremble. Oh, I tremble. And were you there when they laid him in the tomb? And were you there? me want to shout and I cry yeah and I begin to tremble I tremble were you there when he rose from from What a great morning of worship. Thank you all. Thank you all. It's so good. We have great musicians. Our, our, our bench is very, very, very deep. You know, a lot of people don't have a, a deep bench. If What happens is if somebody uh, gets injured or gets hurt, the whole team collapses. There's no depth. But at Florida Methodist Church, we have a deep, 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 lots of musicians, lots of great singers. I tell you, we are so blessed with an abundance of singers, abundance of musicians. We're just happy to present that to you this morning. Here's what we're going to do. Right now, I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer. You've been worshiping. The Spirit's been stirring. And we are going to pray together right now. So just join me. Bow your heads in, in this. And let's just keep the, the holiness of this moment. Let's keep it going. And let's pray together. Father God, in Jesus' name, we just thank you so much for these delightful musicians. We, we are grateful for those who sing and, and those who play, Lord, and we have some here who can dance and we have others here who can act. We have a lot of artists here who can draw and who can paint and, or who can use various mediums of creativity, Lord. And your word says that we are created in your image, in the image of God. And God, you are so creative. We can't look at a mountain, uh, the, the beach, a, a tree, uh, a skyline, uh, a horizon, a sunrise, a sunset, without you showing us just how creative you are. And we're created in your image. And Lord, you have given us creativity. And we have it in abundance here. And Lord, I'm so grateful. Lord, I know that while we were singing this morning, while folks were tuned in and singing and, and enjoying themselves and hearing some new songs and a couple of old songs and and uh, this variety of uh, worshipers this morning that, that many are just sort of holding on. Lord, I know some are watching this morning from their hospice bed. 
some are watching this morning from uh, their sick bed in their home. Some are watching, oh God, uh, from work as they're busy, maybe uh, sitting at the airport and getting ready to hop on a plane because they're busy, busy, busy. Lord, we just had the voice of the apostles in northern Virginia, and uh, we got a, a, an opportunity there to, to uh, grasp a glimpse of your glory. So, Lord, you are so good. You are a good, good Father, and we just want to stop, just tamp the brakes a little bit, just slow down this morning. I know this year is just flying by, but we just want to, if, if it's possible, just to slow down and tell you how much we love you and to tell you how grateful we are for your goodness. Lord, we know that uh, in the twinkling of an eye, the scripture says, soon and very soon, the old spiritual says, you're going to come again, and we'll all be with you, and we'll live and rule and reign with you for eternity, forever and ever and ever, world without end. Amen. But until then, you give us uh, little glimpses into your glory, little glimpses into the kingdom. And, uh, and, and on those occasions, we get to gaze, even for a moment, at your, at your beautiful countenance, at your beautiful face. And Lord, we see that so often while we are here, not, not during the, the preaching, not during the, uh, the, the greetings, or not as we read the liturgies at church or we do that other stuff. But we really get glimpses of your glory as we sing praises to your name. So, Lord, uh, we want to be like John the Baptist. John the Baptist who said that Jesus must increase and I must decrease. So that's what, that's what, our, that's what our church is about. That's what this worship service is about. It's just a reminder that, uh, that this church and, and all that we live for and, and all that we do is not, is not about any of us. It's not about the pastor. It has nothing to do with me. It's not about the program of the church. It's not about any particular group of the church. We have a women's group. We have a men's breakfast. We have a youth group and a children's ministry. But truly, what it's all about is you. And so, Lord, I just pray in this moment, if you would just give us the glimpse, just, just let us see, Lord. Let us, just let us see, Lord, your lovely countenance. Let us feel your presence while we sing and celebrate. Lord, there are a lot of folks who are watching today who are sick. And there's some who are sick unto death, and there's some who are just miserable, and there are others who... We're just barely hanging on, and, and Lord, if it's not one thing, it's another, Lord. And, and if it's not COVID, it's, it's uh, some other related uh, issue, Lord. And it's just been a, just a inexplicable a year and a half, almost two years now of this stuff. And, and we just pray, Lord, we rebuke it in Jesus' name, and we just say, stop it, that's enough. But, Lord, I think of people who don't have COVID and are really suffering. I, I think of people that I know that are on this prayer list with cancer, with kidney failure, Lord, with, with uh, lymphoma right here in our church, Lord, multiple myeloma, too, right here in our congregation with multiple myeloma. Lord, I pray for all of them, Lord. Lord, those who suffered so much, Lord, I ask you to bless and I ask you to heal in Jesus' name. Other kind of skin conditions and, and uh, uh, blood pressure and cholesterol and all of that, Lord. Some are just living in pain. It's, it, it's, it's not life-threatening. It's just miserable. 
So, Lord, I just ask you to bless. I can't. Lord, I, uh, I can't think of any, any uh, thing I'd rather see you do, Lord, than to heal this morning. So, Lord, you just pour out your healing grace on those who are watching. Those who are watching who have great faith. Those who are watching who have no faith. Just pour it out, Lord. Just pour out your love. Pour out your power. Forgive us, Lord. Heal not only our, our bodies, but heal our sin-sick souls. Do great things. We pray believing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, friends, I'll see you next week. I just cannot wait to see you guys in person. I hadn't been around here lately. We've been on a, uh, at a conference, but I'm glad to be here today. And look, uh, boys and girls, uh, <laughs> we got so much. We're going to have soup day. We're going to have it on a Sunday like we did last year. And we raised the most money ever, and we split it between the Methodist Children's Home and the Baptist Children's Home. Wherever we can find little children, little orphanage, orphans, that's what, that's what we want to do. We want to bless. So that will be coming up. We'll get that word out to you, uh, I believe, this week. Probably this week you'll get something from us. Make sure I have your address. Friends. I love you. I'm so happy to see you. And I cannot wait till soon and very soon we'll see face to face. Amen? Amen.